Hello everybody. Our lesson for today is exponential and logarithmic equations. So in today's lesson, we have to learn how to solve exponential logarithmic equations. So we have to work with equation. Let's remember that equation, it's an identity between two expressions. So expression one equals expression two. First of all, no matter what kind of equation is that one, it's this one, we have to put the equation in simplest form. And standard form. This is what we have to check first. As long as the equation is called exponential, it means that the variable, it will be in place of the exponent. In this case, we will find two different kinds of exponential equation. When this power, it will be equals another power in which the base, it will be the same. And when this power, it will be equal another power with different base. So let's see what will happen in the first case. It will be b to x equals b to a. So it's like power equals another power. This identity happens if and only if the base in the power, it's the same, then the exponent, it will be the same too as long as it equals between them. This is called one-to-one -one property. So base the same, then the exponent, it will be the same. When the base is the same, we can simplify by it. And all we will have to do is to solve the equation obtained between the exponents. When the base is different from the second case, As you can see, base is different. Remember then, remember that to solve equation, we use the inverse of the given operation. The given operation, it is called power. This is the way to write the power. And the inverse of the power, it is the log. So we will convert it from power into log. The log and power, as long as they are inverses, they have the same base of m equals to x. So, as you can see, in exponential equations, we are going to work with two different kinds of exponential equations. Same base, and different base in the power. If the base is the same, just simplify by it and solve the equation obtained between the exponents. And if the base is different, use the log and the log properties. Let's see. Solve the equation. We have power equals another power. Check the base. Here it's 36 and here is 6. In this way written, the bases are different. But we can see a very strong relationship between 36 and 6. 36, it's the power, it's a power of 6, so it's a 6 square. So we can rewrite 36 as a 6 square. It will be 6 square, all of it to x plus 1 equals 6 to x plus 6. Get the exponent into simplest form. This is power of a power, so it will be 6. Distribute to x plus 2, which equals 6 to x plus 6. In this case, the two powers, they have the same base. So we are going to use the one-to-one -one property. Yes, if the base is the same, as we said before, 
simplify by it, and we have to solve the equation obtained between the exponents. 2x plus 2 equals x plus 6. We obtain the linear equation, so we, so we call it the light terms. Two x minus six is six equals six minus two is four. So the solution is x equals to four. I will take the second one, and we have written the base in the first. It's one over two. From the properties of exponents, 1 over 2, it came from negative exponent. Let's try to remember it. b to negative m equals 1 over b to m. So, as long as it equals between them, the identity can be used from left to right or right to left. So, in our case, we are going to move it right to left. So, 1 over 2 it came from 2 to negative 1, all to exponent c equals 64, all to exponent half. So power equals power if and only if they have the same base. In this case, the base here is 2, and here it's a 64. So can we rewrite 64 using the base 2? Let's see. 64. It's the perfect square of 8. And 8, it's the perfect cube of 2. Which means 64 is 2 to exponent 6. So I'm going to get its simplest form with the base writing 64 with base of 2. So it will be 2. Negative 1 times c is negative c equals. 2, 64, it's 2 to exponent 6, and all of it to 1 over 2. Get the simplest form into here, in power of a power, it will be 2, 2 exponent negative c equals, simplify by 2, equals 2 to exponent 3. Same base, simplify by it, we got the negative c equals to 3 which means that c equals to negative 3. Let's try more. On page 190 in your book, you have question 1a. So again, power equals another power. First of all, check the base if it is the same. Here 16 base, here 4 base. So written in this form, it is different, but 16 it's the perfect square of 4. So instead of 16, we can write 4 square, all of it, 2x plus 3, equals 4, 2 exponent 4x plus 7. Simplify, 4, 2 times x, 2x plus 6, equals to 4, 4x plus 7. Same base now, we can simplify by it. It will be 2x plus 6 equals 4x plus 7. Solve the obtained linear equation. It will be negative 1 equals to 2x, which means that x equals negative 1 over 2. Let's try the second one. We have two thirds, all to exponent x minus 5 equals 9 over 4, all to exponent 3x over 4. The variable is in place of the exponent, and now we check the base in the powers. Written in this form, the bases are different. 
Yes, but when we look at 9 and 4, 9 is a perfect square, 4 is a perfect square. I will take it separate and see what we, we are going to find here. So 9, it's the perfect square of 3. And 4, it's the perfect square of square. So all of this we can write it. 3 over 2, all 2 exponent 2. So 3 over 2 square. The first base, it is two-thirds. I will write it again to see it clearly. So instead of 9 over 4, I will write 3 over 2, all square, and all 2 exponent 3x over 4. And now we check the base. We have a two-thirds. And we have 3 over 2. And these two numbers, they are reciprocal. The reciprocals, they came from negative exponent. So we can say that 3 over 2 squared, it came from 1 over 3 over 2, yes? And all of it to negative exponent. So we can write it 3 over 2 square. It came from 2 over 3 all to negative exponent. So instead of 3 over 2, we'll put this one. So it will be 2 thirds all to x minus 5 equals 2 thirds all to negative 2 and all to 3x over 4. And now, the base is the same. We can simplify by it. We can write x minus 5 equals negative 2 times 3x over 4. We can simplify by 2. So it will be x minus 5 equals negative 3x over 2. Remove the fraction. So do times 2. It will be 2x minus 10 equals to negative 3x. Collect the like terms minus 2x. It will be negative 10 equals negative 5x, from which x equals to 2. Now let's see when, what will happen if the base is different. For example, 4 to x equals 13. The equation it is given in simplest form, and we see that the variable is in place of the exponent. So we have to work with powers. So 4 to x and 13 without being written, it's the exponent 1. But in this case, the base is different. Here base 4 and here base 13. 13, it's a prime number, and it cannot be rewrite using 4 to an exponent. So then... We use the inverse of the power, which is logarithm. So log, the base and the power, it will be the same base in the log of 13 equals to x. So we got that x equals log base 4 from 13. And this value, we can put it on the calculator and get the decimal from here. But I will leave it simplest form. The base is E, which means this is natural, and equals to 6. As you can see, the base in the power, it is different. So we cannot 
simplify by it, we cannot use the property, one-to-one -one property, then we are going to use the inverse of the power, which is log. As long in the power, the base is e, as, we, as I said, the log used, it will be the natural logarithm, which is lin. So we put lin of 6 equals to 4 minus 3x. Solve for x, so minus 4 on both of the sides. It will be equals to negative 3x. Over negative 3, it will be x equals lin 6 minus 4 all over negative 3. Remove, take the negative from the denominator and distribute it in the numerator. Remember that negative a to b, it is equals a over negative b, which equals negative a over b. Yes? So we do not keep the negative in place of denominator. We give it to numerator. It will be x equals The 4, it will, will become positive, so 4 minus lin 6. And this value, you can put it calculator, and you'll get the decimal. But I will keep it simply form, logarithm form. On page 192, we have question for 8. So 8 to exponent y equals... 0 0.165. So the base is different. We go to log. The log base 8 of 0 0.165 equals to exponent y. So y equals. Second one, 1.43 to exponent a plus 3.1 equals 8.48. So we said at the beginning, first of all, we need the simplest form in standard form. So the variable, it's in this power. It's in the place of the exponent. Then we have to get it in simplest form. We have to solve for the power, first of all. So it will be 1.43 to exponent a equals 8, 3, 8 minus 3, 5. The base is different, so we will use the log in base 1.43 of 5.38 equals to a. The base is e, the base is 12, so it is already solved for the power, it is in simplest form. Then we are going to use the inverse of the power, which is log, as long the base is different. As long the base is e, we are going to use the lin. So lin of 12 equals 2 plus 5w. Solve for the variable, minus 2. Take care, is minus 2 for the lean all, not for 12. So you can use the brackets. Equals to 5w over 5. So the w, it will be lean 12 minus 2 all over 5. So take care, if you do a plus or minus for lean, it is minus plus for lean. All, not for 12. Let's see how to solve the logarithmic equations. So, from the uh, concept of uh, equations, first of all, we have to check both of the expressions, left expression and right expression of the equal sign, to be in simplest form. The left side, it is in simplest form, but the right side, it is not. We are going to use the properties of logarithms to get its simplest form. And remember that 
log a plus log b in condensed form it will be log a times b so i'm going to use it here to simplify so log base 4 of x equals log base 4 of 3 times x minus 2. Two logs, they are equals. If and only if they have the same base, then equal the same answer here, the same number. So first of all, we check the base to be the same. As long as the base is the same, we can simplify by it. And this is called one-to-one -one property when we have to solve the logarithmic equation. So we put equals between the numbers. x equals 3 times x minus 2. Distribute. It will be x equals 3x minus 6. Call it the like terms. So negative 2x equals negative 6 from which x equals to 3. In the second example, already it is given simplest form uh, of the logarithm. So expression in the left of equals, expression in the right of equals, both of them, they are in the simplest form. Check the base in the logarithm, here base 3, here base 3. So as long as the base is the same, we can simplify by it. It will be x squared plus 3 equals to 52 minus 3 on both of the sides. So x squared equals to 49 square root it will be x equals positive negative 7 now we have to check them if the x we got two solutions for it so if the x is positive x square it will be positive negative 7 it will positive we have no problem so both of them they are solutions On page 192 in your book, you have the example, the question 3.8. So log base 6 of 2x equals log base 6. So the left hand side, they are given in simplest logarithm form. The base in the log is the same. We can simplify by it. So we have to write 2x equals x squared minus x plus 2. This is a polynomial equation. It's a quadratic equation. So we have to put it standard form, minus 2x. It will be x squared minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Factor it, negative 2 times negative 1. So when we multiply positive 2, when we add is negative 3. So it will be x minus 2 times x minus 1 equals to 0. Use the 0 property from the first factor, x it will be equals to 2, and from the second factor, x equals to 1. So we got two solutions. We have to check if these are solutions for the logarithm 2. So if I substitute the 2, into the x, this number it will be positive, and here 4 minus 2 plus 2 it will be positive 2. Remember that the number in the logarithm, this value, if we have log base a, this a it has to be always positive such that the logarithm exists and not 0, positive and not equals to 0. So both of them, they are solution. We have 1 minus 1, it will be positive 2. In the second equation, left of equals the expression, it is in simplest form. 
But right of equals, this expression, it is not in simplest form. So first of all, we have to simplify here. It will be log base 12 of x plus 3 equals log base 12 of x times 4, which is 4x. The base and the log, it's the same. So we can simplify it by it. It will be x plus 3 equals to 4x. So 3 equals to 3x, from which x equals to 1. Round to the nearest hundreds. Let's see. 4 to 3x minus 1 equals to 3 to 2 minus x. So we have a power equals another power. Remember that two powers are equals if and only if they have the same base with the same exponent. But in our case, the base here is 4 and here is 3. They are different numbers. So 4 does not equal to 3. So we cannot use the one-to-one -one property, which means to simplify by the base. And in the same time, each base, it has an exponent. So then what can we do? How to solve this equation? In this case, as to solve the equation, we are looking after x equals something here. So we have the x written down in the place of the power. And now it is written in the exponent. So we think about what to do to remove the x from the exponent and bring it in place of the base. And in this, for doing this, we are going to use log on both of the sides. So the log in both of the sides of the equals. We can use log, common log with base 10, or we can use the, the log with base e, the natural log. So all we have to do is to put log on both of the sides. As I said, or common log, or the natural log, it will be the same. So me, I'm going to use log. From the properties of exponents, log b to m. Remember that exponent goes outside the log, so it will be m times log b. So I'm going to use the property into here. The exponent goes outside the log. It will be 3x minus 1 times log 4 equals 2 minus x times log 3. In this way, we move the x from place of the exponent into place of the base. Now, according with PEMDAS, order of operations, we have to distribute to remove the brackets. So it will be 3x times log 4. It's a 3x log 4. Negative 1 times log 4. It's minus log 4 equals 2 times log 3. It will be 2 log 3. Negative x times log 3. It's a negative x log 3. Collect the like terms, so we have the variable x in this term and in this one. So we are going to move, collect them, so move this term with x, with the term with x. This is a constant, I will move it with the constant. So it will be 3x log 4, negative, when you change the sign, will become positive x log 3 equals 2 log 3, negative, change the side, it will be positive log 4. And now we get the simplest form. But we cannot add these two terms because of the log 
different. Be the operation between x and log, it's a times. So if we cannot simplify it more because the terms, they are not like terms, then they are like terms, but the log, we don't know it. So I'm not going to go to calculator. So then we can take the x as common factor. So it will be 2 log 3 plus log 4. Now, to solve for x, we will do divide on both of the sides. Plus log 3. In this way, we simplify here by it. We will do the same thing in the other side to balance the equation. And we can continue, yes, we can give here the simplest form using the properties of logarithms. So the two factor in front of the log, it came from exponent 2, 4, 3. So we can write x equals, we can condense that expression. So it will be x equals log 3 squared plus log 4 over, let's say down, the factor 3, it came from exponent 4, 4, so it will be log 4 cube plus log 3. equals, so log plus log, it came from log, 3 squared, it is 9 times 4, over log, 4 cubed, it's 64, times 3, so x equals log, 9 times 4, 36, over log 3, 4, 12, 192. And this is x equals. To, to find what exactly decimal is here, just simply put it on the calculator. But me, as I said, I'm going to keep it in simplest logarithmic form. Let's try more. On page 193, we have this. So the base, it is different. And 6, it cannot be written as a power of four, uh, 5. 5, it's a prime number. So then we are going to use the log on both of the sides. It will be log 6, 2 exponent 2x plus 4 equals log of 5 to exponent negative x plus 1. Simplify the logs. So the exponent, it will go outside. It will be 2x plus 4 times log 6 equals exponent goes outside negative x plus 1 times log 5. Remove the brackets using the distributive property. So 2x log 6 plus 4 log 6 equals distribute negative x log 5 plus log 5. Collect the like terms. So move the x term with x term and the constant with the constant. It will be 2x log 6. Negative x will become plus x log 5 equals log 5 
minus 4 log 6. We cannot simplify these two terms, but x is common factor, so we are going to factor it. So it will be x times 2 log 6 plus log 5 equals log 5 minus 4 log 6. Solve for x, so divide both of the sides by this expression. It will be x equals fraction line log 5 minus 4 log 6 over 2 log 6 plus log 5. Condense and get the simplest form. So the factor in front of the log, it came from exponent. It will be log 5 minus log 6 to exponent 4 all over log 6 square plus log 5 and equals condensed more log 5 to 6 to 4 to log 6 6 squared times 5, which is 36 times 5. So x equals, we can simplify here more, 6 to 4, it's a big number, we can keep it like this. But here we can write x equals log 5 to 6 exponent 4 over log 6, 5, 30, 180. So this is the x. e to exponent to x plus 6 e to x minus 16 equals to 0. So in this way, we have an equation and the the variable it is also exponential equation but to keep it like this and solve it we cannot do it so then it's very simple observation that we can make it between the e to exponent 2x and e to x the greater one it's e to exponent to 2x and this between two and x there it's a times so the relationship between these two powers is that e to 2x, it came from e to x, all of it square. So we can rewrite it as a power of a power. And then we are going to use the method called substitution. And instead of keep working with this power, we can say, let e to x equals to a. If e to x equals to a, then e to 2x we said equals e to x all square in which e to x we put it a so it will be a square so instead of working with an exponential equation we can write we can work with quadratic equ equ equation only so e to 2x it's the a square plus 6a minus 16 equals to 0. And we solve this quadratic equation. So what times what is negative 16? And when we add, it's a positive 6. And these factors are 8 and negative 2. So we can factor it. It will be a plus 8 times a minus 2 equals to 0. Use the zero product property from the first factor a equals negative 8 from the second factor 
a equals to 2. But we do not stop on here. The negative, the a equals this a, it came from e to x equals to a. So now we have to substitute that. Instead of a, we will put e to x equals to negative 8. And from the second one, e to x equals to 2. So in this case, the base is different. We go to lean of negative 8 equals to x. So this does not exist. The number in the log, we said it has to be positive, and this 8 is negative, so this is not solution. From the second one, lean of 2 equals to x, so x equals lean 2. This is not solution, which means it's extraneous solution. Which means that a equals negative 8. The negative A is solution for the quadratic equation, but is not solution for the exponential logarithmic equation. So that equation has only this one solution. On page 193, question 6a, so we have 6 to 2x plus 2e. 2x equals to 8. First of all, we need to put its standard form, which means equals to 0. So move the 8 on the other side. So 6 e to, sorry, it's e to 2x. So it will be e to 2x plus 2 e to x minus 8 equals to 0. As we did before, use the substitution, let e to x equals to a, then e to 2x, it will be a squared. And instead of working with powers, we are going to work with the polynomial equation. So it will be a squared plus 2a minus 8 equals to 0. Factor it for negative 2. So it will be a plus 4 times a minus 2 equals to 0. From the first factor, a equals negative 4. From the second factor, a equals to 2. But a, we said, is e to x. So, from the first solution, we will write e to x equals negative 4 and e to x equals to 2. Lean negative 4 equals x. This is not solution. So, e to x negative 4 is not solution. It's extraneous solution. And from the second one, lean of 2 equals 2x, which means x equals lean 2. So the equation has only one solution. Let's try more. The 6b, 4e to exponent 4x plus 8e to exponent 2x equals to 5. First of all, standard form, so move the 5 on the other side. It will be 4e to 4x plus 8e to 2x minus 5 equals to 0. Now, the relationship between the powers is that e to 4x, it is equals e to 2x, all square. Then we can use the substitution and we will say let e to 2x equals to 8. Then e to 4x, it will be a square. So the equation will become 4a square 
plus 8a minus 5 equals to 0. We have to factor it. So let's see if we can factor it. Use the x method. So 4 times negative 5, it's a negative 20. Keep the 8 down. And think about two numbers. When we multiply negative 20, and when we add them, it will be equals to 8. And that numbers are 10 and negative 2. When we multiply product negative 20, when we add it will be 8. Over the 4a, get the simplest form for each fraction. So here it will be 5 over 2a. And simplify by 2 here, it will be negative 1 over 2a. So then we can factor into 2a plus 5 and 2a minus 1. From the first factor, a equals negative 5 over 2, and from the second one, a equals 1 over 2, where a is e to 2x equals negative 5 over 2, and from the second one, e to 2x equals to 1 over 2. This one is not solution because equals negative. So the equation has only one solution. From here, I'm going to write it on the top again. e to 2x equals 1 over 2. Then lean of 1 over 2 equals to 2x. Over 2 on both of the sides, it will be x equals lean 0 0.5 over 2. Lin x plus 2 plus lin 3x minus 2 equals to 2 lin 2x. So we get the simplest form. We have to condense. We need, when we have equation, remember always the expression left and right of equals. These two expressions, they have to be given in simplest form. In our case, simplest form, it means to condense the logarithmic expressions. And lin plus lin, it came from lin x plus 2 times 3x minus 2 equals the factor in front of the lin. It came from exponent. So all of it, 2x. Lin, sorry, here it will be lin equals lin 2x all of it squared. Now, on we got the simplest form, and we can see we can use the one-to-one uh, -one property to simplify by the same logarithm, lin lin. So we got x plus 2 times. 3x minus 2 equals to 2x all of it squared, it will be 4x squared. We have to remove the bracket, so we have to simplify x times 3x, 3x squared. x times negative 2, and two, so it will be negative 2x. Plus 6x, it will be plus 4x, and 2 times negative 2 minus 4 equals. 4x squared minus 4x squared, it will be negative x squared plus 4x minus 4 equals to 0. Multiply all by negative 1 to get the x squared positive. So we will have x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals to 0. And this trinomial, it's the perfect square of x minus 2. So from here we got x equals 2, multiplicity of 2.
let's try more on page 194 so as we said we need the left and right of equals to be in simplest form so we will simplify here it will be lin 7x plus 3 if it is minus between the links then between the numbers we have to divide equals to lin of 2x Use the one-to-one -one property, so the log, it has the same base in both of the sides, lin, lin, we can simplify by it, and we obtain 7x plus 3 over x plus 1 equals to 2x, and this is a rational equation, so first of all, put the condition of the existence of the fraction in which denominator it is not equals to 0, then x does not equals to negative 1. So take care at the end, we have to check x, it cannot be equals negative 1. <coughs> we can use the cross product, so it will be 7x plus 3 equals 2x times x is 2x squared and 2x times 1 plus 2x. It's a quadratic equation, so we have to put it standard form. So it will be minus 7x here and minus 3. So 2x squared, 2 minus 7 minus 5x minus 3 equals to 0. Quadratic equation, to solve it, we try to factor it. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 and negative 5 down. Two numbers when we multiply negative 6 and when we add is negative 5, so that ones are negative 6 and 1. When we multiply negative 6 and when we will add them negative 5 over 2x, over 2x, simplify by 2, it will be negative 3 over x. And this is in simplest form, so to factor it, the quadratic expression, it will be x minus 3 times 2x plus 1 equals to 0. Using the 0 property, we'll get from the first factor x equals to 3, and from the second one, it will be x equals negative 1 over 2. Both of them, they are not equals to negative 1, so both of them, they are solution. Let's try more. 7b. So we have to simplify. It is plus between the lines. So it will be times between the numbers. So I will write lin 2x plus 1. We condense. Times 2x minus 3. Equals. The factor in front of the log. It came from exponent. So it will be equals lin. 2x minus 2, all square. According with one-to-one uh, -one property, we can simplify by log because it has the same, it's the same, lin lin, same, same uh, base in the log, which is e. So then we'll get the simplest form. So we have to distribute 2x times e, 2x, it will be 4x square. 2x times negative 3 and 1 times 2x. So negative 6x plus 2x negative 4x. 1 times negative 3 minus 3 equals binomial square, don't forget, three terms in the product, distribute the square to each term, so it will be 2x all of it square, which means 4x square. Negative 2 square, it is plus 4. In the middle, multiply them all. 2 times negative 2, negative 4. Negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. Get the simplest form, so we can simplify by 4x squared. Negative 4x minus 3 equals negative 8x plus 4. 
plus 8x and plus 3, it will be 4x equals to 4 plus 3 is 7. So x equals 7 over 4. Thank you.